Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today I have a swatch and review for you of the Pinnacle Polish Great Lakes Trio. Another trio for you. I love trios. They're really, it's like enough to get like a good taste from a brand, but it's not so much that it's overwhelming. Maybe I just say that because I'm in the habit of buying full collections, so it's easier to just buy a trio. But nonetheless, I am showing you this trio today. So I picked this up at Polish and Beauty Expo, and what this is is a trio based on fish that can be found in the Great Lakes. I am from Michigan. I also currently reside in Michigan. We are the Great Lakes state. So I was like, I have to get that. Those are our lakes. They're my lakes, okay? I don't care that they touch. The last time I said that the lakes are Michigan's, I got so many people being like, have you looked at a map? They touch other states. I know they touch other states. I know that. But we're the Great Lakes state, so they're ours. Okay, that was, it was a joke. It was just a joke, you guys. I, this happened like a year and a half ago and I'm still mad that people were like, look at a map. <laughs> Girl, I know what a map looks like, okay? I just don't care. But yeah, as soon as I saw these online, the sneak preview, I was like, I have to get those. My dad loves fish. Like Some of the reasons that I feel compelled to buy things are so absurd. Uh, but yeah, I even, told, I even told the maker, I was like, yes, I knew I had to get these because my dad, he loves to fish and I'm sure like, you know how like when you're talking to someone and you can just tell that they're like, oh my God, okay, when is this person gonna go away? Because I don't wanna listen to this, this is weird. And yet you just can't stop saying what you're saying. That was like the whole conversation I had with her. I felt so bad as I walked away, I was like, oh, I just made a fool of myself, but yeah. I, I needed everyone to know that my dad loves to fish and that's why I'm buying the fish nail polishes. And then I was so mad because like, okay, I texted my dad to show him these because I was like, look, dad, they're based off of fish. You like fish? These are fish. Check it out. And he goes, yeah, those are cool, but I like the other ones you showed me better because I had shown him like multi-chromes in previous weeks. I was like, whatever, dad. I guess he's just a multi-chrome girly at heart. I don't know, but he didn't, he wasn't as excited as I wanted him to be. So someone here, please be excited with me. Okay, the fish polishes. So this is my first time purchasing from Pinnacle Polish. I really do enjoy their bottle. They're the big kind of chunky square. They fit so nicely together in my drawers. I love that about square bottles. And they are $14 a piece, or you can get the entire three-piece trio for $39, which saves you a total of $3. I just had to sit here and do the mental math, and it was like my brain was buffering for some reason. I couldn't do that quickly. But yeah, it'll save you $3 if you buy the entire trio at once. It is three polishes that are all a similar finish. They kind of have like this crushed metallic-y look to them just like fish scales. They all have these little tiny black hex glitters that kind of look like the flex on a fish. And one of them is magnetic. Which one? Um, let me tell you, hang on. It is yellow perch. And I will show you close-ups of the magnetization in my live swatches. Now, I am not good at fishing. Uh, the Everything I know about fish comes from the video game Animal Crossing. So I can't really give you too much on these actual fish. Uh, I googled all three of them to see if they looked like the polishes, and they do. They definitely do, but uh, that's as much as I can tell you. So let me get into the live swatches. I will show you the full hand swatches, and then we will get into my thoughts at the end. So starting with Yellow Perch, which is the magnetic, it is described as a medium olive green jelly base with small black glitter, gold magnetic shifting shimmer, and silver holographic micro flakes. You can see the magnet pulls pretty well on this, and on the first coat, I feel like you can tell it is going to build up quite nice the black glitters aren't like super packed in there, but they're not too sparse either. There's like just enough to be reminiscent of the fish itself. And once I put the magnet over it, you can see it kind of pulls both gold and green. I found that holding the magnet over this one, especially long, was pretty beneficial because on my full hand swatch, I didn't hold it as long and you can see it's kind of weak. Then we have Rainbow Trout, and this is a light green jelly base with small black glitter, red shifting shimmer, and silver holographic micro flakes. And that red shimmer 
really makes this polish for me because every time I see a rainbow trout, I feel like even though they're called a rainbow trout, they really do have this kind of red, orange, yellow, sunsetty look against the green of their body. And here you can see what a precious little guy. He looks tired, actually. And then we have Chinook Salmon, which is a bright coral jelly base with small black glitter, orange gold shifting shimmer, and silver holographic micro flakes. And this one is definitely the punchiest of the trio. Really bright, really fun and in your face. I really enjoyed this one. The black flakes contrast, or the black glitters, I'm sorry, contrast so nicely with the red. And look at him, isn't he just precious? I love him. So my first thoughts when I saw these, like I said, I was like, oh, fish polishes? My dad likes fish. I need those. Here's my credit card. Thank you. Goodbye. Like I just, uh, I bought them without really even looking at them too hard. But upon getting them home and looking at them and playing with them, I think that Pinnacle Polish did a great job on capturing a fish in a way that you can wear on your fingernails between like the crushed hollow flakes in here, their shimmer, the glitter, and the color base choices, I think that they did a fantastic job. I really do feel like I'm looking at fish scales in the sunlight when I look at these in the bottle. I always like to talk about the naming conventions because for me that's something that I just find important in polish. I like, I like interesting names, so I always bring that up. So here, these are pretty plain names. You know, they're just rainbow trout, chinook salmon, and yellow perch. They're named for the fish that they are, which that's fine with me. I I feel like if they tried to make any kind of puns with the fish, I probably wouldn't understand them because I don't know much about fish, you know, other than they're fish. They live in the water. And I don't know too much about the brand themselves, but I did get the vibe just from their booth and like their freebies and just looking at some of their other polishes that they seem to be really big into nature and wildlife. And I mean, their the logo is like literally like a big mountain, you know? So I do think that they probably have a lot more nature inspired stuff. I think another collection that they had releasing at PBE was like mineral or rock themed. Okay, not to interrupt my own self, but I was like, huh, I wonder what they have released. And you know what? They just released a soup timber collection. It's a five piece collection based on different soups. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna scream. Okay, back to the video. But yeah, I I got the vibe that they were very naturey, and it comes across in their polishes, in their logo, in the whole aesthetic of the brand, which I really liked. Now my favorite, you're gonna be shocked. It's the red, it's Chinook Salmon. Can you believe it? Can you believe that I'm like, oh, I love this red. No, I'm entering a new era. Maybe it's just because like, these are the colors of the fish that I'm used to seeing my dad catch, you know, a lot of greens and like yellows. So this one really stood out to me because I'm like, oh, I've seen those. I, I know what those fish are. But when I looked up the Chinook salmon, because I'm not super familiar with that specific salmon, although we have a lot of salmon farms around here, um, I didn't realize just how vibrant red they have like on the side of their body. It's like this big red stripe. And so, I don't think it's as dark as this, at least none of the pictures that I saw were this dark, but I felt like it was still, like, this is a great color. Okay, into any issues I had. So, the first issue that I had that turned out to be a non-issue is when I pulled these out of my bag and I looked at them, at first I was like, I, they look much more different in camera, on camera, but like in real life, like from oh, just a quick glance, I was like, are those the same green? They're not. They are distinctly different. This is a lighter green with a reddish orange shimmer, and this is a like green on green type of color here. So that was just a like, my brain just kind of wasn't functioning. Uh, they are a little bit similar though. So I like having all three of them, but you might only need one or the other if you lean towards one type of green or the other. Uh, the rainbow trout, the orangey red in the shimmer in this really does look like a rainbow trout. So I thought that was really great. The only like true real issue I had isn't with 
anything quality related as far as the polish goes. This is just an issue I have had with many brands and it's that yellow perch is magnetic, but I didn't know that. I didn't know it was magnetic until I went on the website a couple weeks ago to put all the information together for this video to get the prices and stuff like that. And I looked at the listing and it said it was magnetic. Nothing at the table that I saw, I'm sure it was probably labeled at the table, but I didn't know it was magnetic because it's hectic, things are happening. And there was no label, like the bottom of this just says the name of the polish. There's nothing on the bottle to indicate that it is magnetic. And so to me, that's like a whole facet of this polish that had I not looked at the website, that would have been lost on me. I never would have known. And so that's that's kind of sad, right? Like I don't even, I didn't even know to magnetize it. And I feel like a lot of brands do this where they don't put some kind of indicator on the bottle, on the label to indicate if it's magnetic or if it's thermal or even, I, I even like it if it's reflective because I know that reflective out of those three is the most visual, like it's easiest to see in the bottle, but I still want you to label it as reflective. I just like when the specialty finishes like that are labeled. So if you bought this and you didn't know, like me, Yellow Perch is magnetic. Uh, I'm sh Like I said, I'm sure it was labeled somewhere on the table, but because of how overwhelming an experience Polish and Beauty Expo is, there's a lot of people, a lot of movement. I just missed it. And so I'm glad that I did end up going on the website to look up some details and information because otherwise I never would have known. And then I was able to put in my spreadsheet because in my spreadsheet, that's where I denote like if there's anything like it's thermal, it's glow in the dark, et cetera, et cetera. So I just put a little uh, information that this one is magnetic. So in the future, I will know. So my overall thoughts on this collection, you know, I am by no means a talented fisherman. The last time I went fishing was over a decade ago and I literally caught a chunk of cement. So not good at it, <laughs> but this collection gave me warm feelings for my dad. It gave me nostalgia for playing Animal Crossing with my siblings growing up. I I just thought it was cute and fun. And I, I love, you know, I go on and on about how Danny Vienna does an amazing, amazing, amazing job of taking imagery and condensing it down into half an ounce of paint and sticking it in a bottle. And I can honestly say I feel the same about this collection by Pinnacle Polish. I'm always impressed when I can look at something and recognize what it's supposed to be inspired by before I even find out what the collection is based around, before I even find out what the name is. You know, I think that that takes special talent. It's really hard to, you know, take it, something as abstract as a bottle of paint and make it so that just about anybody who looks at it is like, I know what that is. That looks like a rainbow trout. That looks like a yellow perch, you know, like these truly do look like their fishy counterparts. I would love for the brand to expand on this collection, this trio, go to other fish, maybe other parts of the world. I don't know how much color diversity there really are in fish aside. I mean, there are tropical fish that are pretty colorful, but just, you know, like normal fish, general fish, like the, the, the plain Jane fishies of the world. Uh, I don't know how much color variation they could get out of that, but I do think it would be cool to maybe do an exotic fish collection or a deep sea fish collection or something like that to add to this uh, and expand on it. So, you know, Pinnacle Polish, if you are listening, you could do that, that's an idea. I'm sure you've had it though, so I'm not sure if that's helpful. But yeah, I'm excited to see what else Pinnacle Polish comes out with in the future. Uh, they actually, you know what, they have done one other fish polish that I know of in the past and it was based on, was it based on Animal Crossing? I don't think it was, but I, I associate it with Animal Crossing because it's based on the coelacanth, which was a fish that I became obsessed with because of Animal Crossing. So yeah, they, they do have one other fish polish, although that was a PPU polish, so you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. Anyways, that is going to be it from me. Let me know down below. If you have tried anything from Pinnacle, what are your thoughts on the brand? Are there any like must have polishes from them? Because right now I only have these three and then I have, I did buy the Coelacanth polish at PBE because they were able to sell it there. And I got 
one called Thompsonite from my bag. So I only have five from them, but I really like what I have. So I am interested in trying out more from this brand. So let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.